Hi everyone, in this video, see down here, added a watermark uh, to my image. Okay, you can add your name, just plain old text, or you can do what I did here and add a graphic, in my case, a logo. All right, so this is my image. Okay, I really wanna get rid of these here. I'm gonna do that with a healing brush in a little bit on this course. Remind me to come back and fix this one. Uh, so to add the watermark is under share, go to custom settings, and there's an option in here called include watermark. Ta-da! And it appears down the bottom here. If you're like mine and it's doing some weird stuff where it's got that percent twenty in here, you can get rid of it in two ways. You can do it in here, okay. And I'm going to say actually I don't want the percent twenty. Thank you very much. There you go. You can pick a font. I'm not going to go through all of this. Okay, it's all pretty normal. Drop shadow. You want to paint at the top or the bottom left or in the middle. Size wise, up to you. Okay, and the opacity, how see through. Uh, it is if you've got it on the left you can have like offsets to push it left and right so I'll let you mess around with those double click them to get them back to normal okay so that's how to add text to it uh, add a graphic okay you can click to this tab here add graphic okay go and find a graphic I have got something you wait right there all right so here's my business logo I have got like it'll only import it'll say it there jpegs or pngs it's up to you JPEGs uh, don't have any transparency. That's why I'm using a PNG here. Okay, and I'm gonna use this one here. I'm not even sure. Let's click choose. You can see it down there. I'll remove the opacity. Nope, add the opacity back in. Okay, so PNGs allow for transparency. A JPEG will be a nice cube. It depends on how you're saving your logo. Or you might just use text. Okay, you've got similar settings here for the image as well. I'm gonna lower the opacity. Okay, I'm gonna hit done. And as long as that is ticked on now, it will include watermarks whenever I'm doing exports, including my little sweet shortcut, Command E or Control E on a PC. Let's do that one. Where's it gonna go? In here, let's have a look. Here it is at the top, and there's my little watermark. Oh, fancy. You feel like a pro photographer when you're adding copyrighted stuff. Now, why do people add watermarks? Uh, for if you're a you know, professional, it's a great way of being able to add, you add watermarks, send the client proofs, and then they need to pay you before the watermarks come off. That's the unwritten rule. Okay, like, hey, can I get uh, can I get great? Let's get these ones. Can I get them without the watermark? For a new client, at least, it can be a conversation around making sure your invoice gets paid. Hey, I know you're great, but in the past of you know not being paid, so I just keep my watermarks on there until the invoice is paid. I know it's not you. I hope you understand. That's the kind of conversation often you have to have with a new client. And then once you've worked with them or you trust them, you can be sending stuff without watermarks. It's also good for social media to get your name out there as a photographer and also just to be credited for or work that you've done because the internet has the habit of spreading things around and you getting left out of the conversation so watermarks are good that way your watermark could be a cool like little signature that you've drawn in something and put down the bottom there adds a uh, artistic kind of uh, stamp to it but yeah you know what a watermark is quit talking Dan move on to the next video Roger I'll see you in the next video all right that is the end of the video uh, if you enjoyed it give it a like it helps me out uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.